Hello crafty friends and welcome to this video in which we use some more geometric shapes to make clean and simple cards. So this is the stamp set I'm using. If you haven't got this stamp set, don't worry, just go through your stash and find some square stamps because today we're going to be using these small pattern square stamps. I might also throw in some other square stamps as well. And I'm using Catherine Pooler inks from the Party Collection. I've got Fiesta Blue, Mardi Gras, Aquatini. This one's a blue green, this one's a green, and this one's a green blue. So they all sit together really nicely. And just as a side note, we used this stamp in the last video, and I said it didn't stamp very well because it had an uneven pitted surface. Well, I've looked at the printed image here that came with the stamp set, and it's got that uneven pitted surface on this image so it's obviously meant to be like that some of these stamps are completely solid but there are a couple that have got a bit of a, a grungy finish so it is meant to be like that so i'm going to use my stamp positioner today to do some repeat stamping again and when i use my stamp positioner normally i have it this way up with the door over here so that i can easily ink up with my right hand and then press it down like that. But when I'm doing repeat stamping, as I did in the previous video and I'm gonna do right now, I have my stamp positioner the other way up so that I can move my paper towards me. I just find it easier to do that than to have it the other way up and try and pull it away like this. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to be doing some repeat stamping again, as I say, and to help me get my stamp horizontal on my piece of paper, I'm using this set square. I pressed it up against the side here and I can press these square presents down here against it gently. And I know it's gonna be horizontal. Before I uh, finalize the position there, I'm gonna add a little bit of stick glue to the back of my stamp because I find with silicon stamps, they're not always as sticky as photopolymer stamps. So a little bit of stick glue just helps them stick to your acrylic block or your stamp position a door. But now I've done that, I've just remembered that I want to pull the paper towards me. So I want to do the bottom row of stamps first. And that's gonna go about here, I think. Maybe up slightly. I'm not too worried about getting it in the middle because I'm going to probably trim this panel down a little bit. So I think we'll go blue green at the top, green and then green blue. So I'll start with the bottom stamps. I'm going to pull that down two centimetres and check that it's going to be in a good position. It is. And then we'll do the middle colour, which is Mardi Gras, the green. And we'll pull that down another two centimetres. And then we'll go with Fiesta Blue, the blue green. So I don't think I pulled it down the full two centimetres the first time I did it. So this gap is slightly smaller than this gap, but that's okay. We can build that into the design. So I found this small sentiment stamp that says, have the best birthday ever. So I'm going to actually stamp that in black in the gap there. And to get that exactly straight, I'm gonna to have to put my head right over. So I'll cut that bit out for you. So I think this stamp is slightly curved. So what I've done is I put my head over it again and just nudged the end up to straighten it out. So let's just press that down there. So now the fact that that gap is bigger than that gap looks like it was always meant to be part of the design. So I want to cut this down before I stick it on my card blank. And to make it look as if it's been die cut, I'm going to bevel the edges by just running an embossing tool around the outside. And to give it something to sit on, I'm going to colour this bit of card with some Mardi Gras. 
I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day looking like Shrek because my fingers are really green. So that looks a bit blotchy, but A, it will smooth out and B, once you get that mounted on there, it won't matter. To add some dimension, I'm popping some craft foam around the edges and in the middle of my focal point. I'm just using this bit of scrap paper in case I've got some green ink left on my mat because this Catherine Muller ink does go everywhere. The ink pads are very juicy. So now I've got the tiniest little sliver of a border. So I've got some tape runner on the back of my little panel here. And I'm using my T-square ruler just to get that nice and straight. I want it in the top half with a similar size border all the way around. And I want to make these look a bit like presents and add a bit of pizzazz and zhuzh to my card. So I've got this tiny little bow die and I'm going to cut it from silver because I think silver works really nicely with these colours. If I've counted correctly, I should have managed to cut 15 little silver bows. So I'm going to put a tiny little dot of glue in the middle top of each of these squares ready to receive a bow. So there you go, I think those little silver bows really bring the card to life now and shout presents. I do love the repeating pattern, I am a sucker for repeating patterns, but I do think that I would like this present here to be solid and not empty. So if you've got this stamp or something similar, you could always uh, colour it in with a paintbrush or something. At the risk of ruining it because to be honest I don't mind wrecking a card when I'm making it on videos because it's just to give you ideas really I'm going to get a little bit of the that's the fiesta blue so that's the top color add it to my paintbrush and then just carefully add a bit of color so I am going to end up with two blue boxes on that row, but that's okay. This one's going to have a little bit of a different texture because it's got brush strokes in it. But I do think I prefer that, having a solid there. So this is the green blue, that's the bottom one. What happened to Mardi Gras? So we'll do that to all of them. So it's definitely a little bit different to the other solid because this one has got a bit more of an outline. This won't affect the bows if I touch the bow with a wet paintbrush because the silver foil kind of waterproofs the cardstock. There, I do like that better. I prefer not having that empty square at that end. So that's something you can do. You can adapt your stamps however you want. Say with these ones, if you wanted to, you could draw some kind of outline around the outside. So they all had outlines. You could take a black pen and do that if you wanted. So you can adapt your stamps. So there we go, I'm happy with that now. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with square stamps and maybe bow dies that you might have in your stash. If it has, let me know in the comments, like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here very soon for another of these geometric shape 
clean and simple cards. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.